You're watching Cron On. We begin right now with breaking news. San Jose police are now giving an update on the three-month-old who was kidnapped yesterday, found safe early this morning. Three people are in custody. Let's listen in. Was safely located a few hours ago. Uh, one of the one of the locations identified by our detectives as part of a 20-plus hour long investigation. Also, detectives have identified several individuals responsible for this incident. This incident is a parent's worst nightmare. We are fortunate that this resulted in a positive outcome. This invest investigation once again highlights the dedication and commitment of our women and men who go above and beyond every day to keep our community safe. I'd like to thank all the department members involved in this investigation for their tireless efforts and hard work, specifically our patrol unit, investigations unit, our special operations, and members of our uh, communications center. I would also like to thank uh, our federal partners. This week it's the FBI for uh, providing assistance and supplying members of their child ab abduction response team and also the Santa Clara County search and rescue team for their uh, assistance and they're providing their resources uh, to us in this investigation. Our detectives are continuing to work on this case. We will have more information as this uh, case unfolds. But once again, I'd like to thank uh, everyone involved from the start of the call uh, till now. And this is where the uh, hard work also begins, also working, putting this case together, working with our district attorney and others uh, to find more information and motives uh, for this, uh, this incident. But once again, I'd like to thank everyone and we'll have more information as this uh, case unfolds. So we have some questions. We'll have uh, Assistant Chief Joseph uh, with some Q&A. We're not releasing the names of anybody. We have some people uh, in custody at this point. We're not releasing those names. Some just people, yet. so more than one. Yes. Okay. How many? Two for right now. Two. Do we know what type of relationship they have with the child? Uh, we know that uh, there's some connection to the family, but we don't know exactly what that connection is, and that's something that will be uh, determined during the course of the investigation. Is one of the two people that you have in custody? person seen in that video taking the baby from the grandmother's apartment to a car. We believe we've identified that person and have him in custody, yes. The man? Yes. And the other person that was apprehended or in custody has a relationship with the grandmother. What is that relationship? Like I said, we're, we're not ex releasing all that. We're not entirely certain of all that just yet. Can you speak to the baby being found today? Uh, the baby is in good condition, uh, being checked out at a local hospital, uh, but unharmed. Can you speak to what the motivation might have been for the that, That's something that we'll have to determine during the course of the investigation. Did you the baby for any tests? They plan to change? I'm sorry, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Did you guys find it through any tests? Uh, there was a whole bunch of information. The neighborhood was canvassed. We looked for video evidence. We looked for witnesses that saw different things. So it was a variety of, of factors that helped us solve this case. Was the other person taken into custody the woman who was inconsistent with the grandmother? Uh, I'm not releasing who the people we have in custody are at this point. We talked to a woman earlier uh, in the hospital who said that she had spotted that van. I've seen it earlier. Uh, she called the police. Is that how you guys found the van? Or are you guys already uh, that will come out during the course of the investigation. It, like I said, this is still a very active investigation. Even though we've found the child, which of course is the most important thing, and we believe we have people in custody who are responsible, there's still much more for the detectives to do. So I wouldn't want to give any information that could, you know, impede that investigation. And with the child, the child treated at the scene, and at least the parents are taken in treated as Child, my understanding is the child was transported to the hospital, and I don't know the child where the child is at at this moment, but certainly will be released back to the family as soon as we know he's healthy. Do you know how the baby spent his last 20 hours? Uh, 
Uh, that's something that we'll have to find out during the course of this investigation. Has the mother been reunited with the baby? I, I don't know that for sure at this point, but certainly they will be reunited as soon as the baby's healthy and we can do that. Are those two people in custody arrested at this point or just in custody? In custody, being interviewed, and we'll determine what the appropriate action is at that point, obviously in coordination with the district attorney's office. Was the baby treated there regional? Uh, I'm, the baby was treated at a hospital. I'm not certain which hospital. Where was the baby located? Inside a house? Inside a car? Do we know? I'm not releasing that at this point. Many people have, have been wondering why an umbrella was the issue. Can you explain why, please? We did not have information for an Amber Alert. We didn't have initially a suspect vehicle. We didn't have a license plate. We released what we had as soon as we had it, which was the image of the gentleman leaving with uh, a baby carrier we believed was a suspect. Can you tell us more information about how SJPD as well as FBI was able to locate this baby? You mean since yesterday? No, <laughs> I'm not really. I'm not releasing that at this point. I'll, other than just just say that we followed every lead we had. Uh, we used wit you know information from witnesses, information from video surveillance that we located, uh, and ultimately were able to to find the baby. The place where the baby was found this morning is that the residence of one of the two people who are in custody. Uh, I'm not going to get into that at this point. Obviously, it's important news that the baby was found, but is there anything else that the community needs to, to know about this? Well, I think that uh, the community needs to know uh, that, first of all, we appreciate all of the information that was provided by people to help with this, uh, with this investigation and to help to find Brandon, the baby, safely, uh, and that they should also know that uh, these detectives never went home. Nobody ever rested from the moment we got this call until all of us standing here today and far beyond. The detectives here at the San Jose PD and with the FBI have worked this case and will continue to work it uh, to, you know, to ensure that uh, the investigation is complete, people are held accountable, and that this type of thing doesn't happen again. What do you have a gang unit out there? What is the gang unit at the house? Uh, I'm not sure that they are. But if they are, they're probably there to just support our tactical unit. Our merge unit, which is our tactical unit, uh, made contact uh, and was in involved in the location of the suspect and the victim. So that doesn't imply that you think this is gang related? I don't have any information to indicate that at this time. And then also another, another important thing about this is that this wasn't a random, this wasn't mm -hmm. random. Well, we have to determine all of the circumstances and the motivation. Just Did to officers be have eyes on that van before that? Um, I'm not I'm not familiar with the tip that you're referring to and I'm not going to get into specifics at this point about how the last 20 hours transpired for us. Does the baby go home with mom or with grandma? Uh, I'm not exactly certain. The baby will go home with the rightful guardian and that's, I guess, probably the mother, but I'm not exactly certain. Assistant, you said two arrested. I think there was a tweet by your department, three, just to clarify, is it two or three? Three. I'm sorry, my, my error, it, it would be three. three. And what charges are we looking at? Uh, again, we'll work with the district attorney's office to determine what the, all the appropriate charges are. Obviously, kidnapping would certainly be one of them, but again, that's where the collaboration between our investigators and the DA's office uh, comes in. What can you tell us about the, the picture of the car that was tweeted out by CHP and then deleted? There was some back and forth between SJPD and FBI. Yeah, I, I don't have all the information as to how, how that got released at that point. Is that indeed the vehicle that was involved with the case? Uh, again, I don't want to get into a lot of the specifics because it is still a very active investigation. Have you spoken with the mother, and if so, is there anything you can say? I have not personally spoken with the mother. The detectives obviously have, and, and I don't really have anything to add about her statement. Any assistance that we had planned? What were you told, Karen, since this happened to anyone? I beg your pardon? What were you told, Karen, since this would happen to anyone? What would we tell parents? Uh, we would tell parents, obviously, to always be careful and be vigilant, and we would also tell them that if an unfortunate tragedy like that were to occur, we would stop it, you know, nothing. We would use every resource of the San Jose Police Department and, and any law enforcement agency to help us get to this kind of resolution. Has the father of the baby been ruled out uh, as a person of interest or any connection to this? At this time, I, I can't say for certain, but like I said, everything is still under investigation and all avenues will be explored. We have Special Agent uh, Scott Shelby here from the FBI. Does anybody have any questions for him? For you, Christian. At the 9 a.m. briefing when you so, said about the... One second. So nothing for uh, Mr. Shelby, Agent Shelby, right? I have a question. Just the way you say you have 
Hang, hang on one second, ma'am. Hang on. She was first. At the 9 a.m. briefing, you said that the one woman was brought in for questioning and, and her story was inconsistent. Can you at least just confirm that she's one of the three arrested? Yes. Um, it, Again, there's a lot of questions still yet to be answered with this investigation, right? Our detectives have been working on this, like you guys heard since one yesterday. Uh, all of those questions, we will answer them for you as, as soon as we can. Again, we still are being very mindful of maintaining the integrity of this investigation, right? The last thing we want to do is put out some information and then have to take it back, right? And compromise what's going to happen to these folks when they have their day in court. So I know there's a lot of questions. Uh, please give us a little bit of time. I will be putting together a thorough press release explaining, you know, the sequence of events. Uh, but, you know, we have to be very mindful of the other steps that are still coming today. Okay? Do you, you, think, do you have everybody that uh, is involved in, in the kidnapping of this child? We will share. If we identify other suspects, we will certainly let you know. You're in the area of the special agent having He is here representing the FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, yes. I mean, uh, how often does something like this occur? And you want to take that, Scott? Sorry, the, uh, the question is how often does a how child abduction like, occur? Yeah, how does abduction occur and what can, what can the community and people do to assist so, in the locations? I would say on a positive note, a stranger child abduction is extraordinarily a rare occurrence um, in this country. I think that's something we should all hopefully take comfort in. When it does ha happen, it's obviously a very high impact threat low probability but high impact in a sense of what people can do i think what you saw in the last 24 hours is paramount and that was an extraordinarily robust and quick response by the san jose police department and then you saw partner agencies jump in and complement that effort um, and they worked every lead to the ground until we had a resolution and thankfully in this case uh baby brandon's been reunited with with jessica and i think that's hopefully an assurance the community can take comfort in and as well as expect that that same level of dedication uh, would happen the next time this may happen again. When the grandma was with the child when this happened, did she identify or recognize any of the three suspects that are in custody right now? So again, any aspects related to the current investigation, uh, we're not going to address because it would be premature to go into that and we want to make sure we're accurate in the information we provide you. And the FBI assisting in this investigation is also due to the res uh, more resources, right, and being able to help? Yeah, the FBI in this case want to be a, wants to be a good partner. We have certain uh, resources and uh, expertise that we thought would be uh, a benefit to the San Jose Police Department and we wanted to make sure we were there to offer that assistance. Can you state name Sure. Uh, my name is Scott Shelby. I'm the assistant special agent in charge for the FBI here in San Francisco. Okay. Thank you, everybody. I know everyone's really eager and wants to talk to mom. Uh, I will be speaking with her shortly. Uh, I put this out this morning. She's dealing with a very traumatic event. You know, please give them a little bit of space. I will let your assignment desks know if and when a mom uh, is willing to talk. Uh, but again, very traumatic event. She has a lot to cope with right now. Please give them a, a little bit of space. You will hear from me if and when she's ready to talk. Okay? Thank you.